Hey guys, Gus here with another video for Your Space TV. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about Elon Musk's presentation update on Starship, Super Heavy, and Starbase. It hasn't happened. The last update was almost a year ago. If you're not too familiar with Starbase, Starship, or Super Heavy, stick around for this video because I'm going to give you all the updates that you need so you know about your space. So for people like myself that follow Starship and Starbase and Super Heavy, I'm not sure if Elon Musk is really going to give that much of an update. But for people that really don't know about it, should get an update. They deserve one. And that's why I'm here talking to you now. So for those of you that don't really know, the first launch from Starbase was Starhopper back in 2019. They were pretty much testing the thrusters and engines for Starship for it to land. And the last launch on May 5th, 2021 was SN15 that actually stuck the landing. Shut down! We did it! Did we do it? Yes! You, you, you! Holy cow, we did it! Which was an amazing sight to see. Ever since then, Starbase has not had a launch. Crazy if you think about it. They managed to build the largest launch tower ever in history. The tower itself, they call it Megazilla, and it's 400 feet tall. The other structures that they put on Megazilla are called the chopsticks or the catch arms as it tries to land right next to the tower. I mean, it's mind boggling. They also build a wide bay, which is pretty much like a vehicle assembly building. They stick the starships inside the wide bay that way they can work on them without the elements from outside really bothering it. Right next to it is the tall bay and that's where they put the super heavy boosters. So how they tested these catch arms, these catch arms are on, hydraulic, on a hydraulic system. So it goes up and down. The super heavy booster is just too heavy. When it goes trying to land right next to the tower, the catch arms, if they don't move to give it that, that flexibility, they could break the tower or break the booster. It's going to be amazing to see this thing in action. And of course, the beautiful Starship, 160 feet tall. It's almost the size of the space shuttle. It's got six Raptor engines and three of them are vacuum engines. Those are the engines that you can be used in, up in space. The Super Heavy booster is 230 feet tall and it's gonna have 29 Raptor engines, 29. It's amazing to see it. These Raptor engines are also on gimbals. So it makes the engine move around depending about where they want to steer the booster as it's coming in for a landing. In the future, Elon Musk says that the Super Heavy is going to have 33 Raptor engines, but they're having issues with the Raptor engine now. They're having issues in the production line and they're having issues with other things. So as I speak, they're developing the Raptor 2, which is going to replace the Raptor 1. Now the Raptor engines is not what the Falcon 9 rocket uses. The Falcon 9 uses a Merlin engine. And what's the difference between the Merlin engine and the Raptor engine? The Raptor engine is twice as powerful. SpaceX is constantly working on the Raptor engines to make it more efficient and produce the most thrust. Now for Elon Musk's presentation, they're stacking the Super Heavy onto the platform and then putting a Starship on top. It hasn't happened since August and they only did it pretty much for a photo op. Why are they doing it this time? Pretty much for a photo op. Elon Musk, when he does his speeches, loves an awesome background behind him. Makes it look nicer, you know? Doesn't it? Now the first launch of Super Heavy is going to be insane. Supposedly, it's gonna happen in April. But I hope that's exactly what Elon Musk is going to say in his presentation. The first launch is going to consist of lifting the Super Heavy and Starship into space. They're going to launch from Texas and they're going to land in Hawaii. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to save or reuse the Super Heavy or Starship. They're both going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. But with all of the computers on board, they're going to be learning exactly step by step what the rocket did from liftoff to landing. And Elon Musk knows that failures make things perfect. Falcon 9 failed many times before they perfected it. So the Super Heavy that's gonna be on the launch pad for the presentation, they give numbers to these boosters. 
But this booster is going to be booster 4 and Starship 20. How funny. 420. Hey Elon, what do you got to say about that? <clears throat> got it. But once Super Heavy has been tested to already land in Hawaii, they might have to do another test just to find out that everything's going to work properly to be able to stay in orbit. Their next step would be to have a starship be a fueling station up in space. So what I'm thinking is that they're going to launch a starship to stay in orbit, to be able to launch another starship, to dock with it, refuel it so it could head to the moon. That is a test that is essential for us to get to the moon and get to Mars. Once Starship is up and running, Elon Musk said that there's going to be 12 Starship missions this year. The first one that's going to stay in orbit is probably going to have Starlink satellites. Hello, it's SpaceX. Right now, a Falcon 9 rocket that they've been launching left and right with Starlink only carries about 49 Starlink satellites. A Starship is going to be able to carry 29,000 Starlink satellites. And if you don't know what Starlink is, you can check out my other video. It's about a launch that I was vlogging from the beach and I explained to you about Starlink. Now going back to the pad itself, it's going to have 20 clamps holding the super heavy booster onto the launch pad. And then down at the bottom is gonna have a quick disconnect. So as soon as the ignition happens, the disconnect will completely pull off. Once that quick disconnect releases, off it's gonna go into the blackness and death of space. Uh, quoting William Shatner. And you're looking into blackness, into black oh, ugliness. Okay. And there is, is there death? I don't know. Oh, is that death? Is that the way death is? Starbase is a private rocket production facility and test site at Boca Chica, Texas. Back in 2018, Elon Musk said that he was going to build starships. So he got permission to use Boca Chica as his construction facility. In my opinion, the reason why I think the FAA is giving Elon Musk a hard time in SpaceX is because when he arrived at Starbase, he was getting permission to launch Starships, which is pretty much the size of the space shuttle, like I said before. There was a time there that there was about two launches a month. And now with Starship practically done with just one landing, now Elon Musk needs to get permission from the FAA to launch a Super Heavy. And the FAA weren't really ready for that. Six Raptor engines compared to 29 Raptor engines is completely different. There's a lot of turtles, it's a bird sanctuary, and there's a couple of houses that some windows are gonna be blown out when this thing goes up. But without the FAA's approval, it's not going anywhere. So hopefully Elon Musk will give us an update during his presentation about the FAA and when is Super Heavy actually going to launch? Let me know down in the comments, what do you think? What do you think the presentation is going to be about? And what do you think about the FAA allowing Elon Musk to launch Super Heavy? I just want to give a quick shout out to the people that are working at Starbase now. I appreciate all the hard work you guys do. 10, 12 hour days sometimes out there Rain or shine, you guys are out there kicking butt. And I thank you guys for that. Because of you, SpaceX is gonna change humanity. You all deserve to be mentioned. Thank you. So hopefully you guys tune in to Elon Musk's presentation and I'll catch you on the next video.